Brad Johnson here from Johnson Dog Audio, and today I'm going to talk to you about the Hairball Audio 1176 compressor, um, especially the Revision A, and talking to you about whether or not you should go about building one, because I just got done building a few of them. I've done other DIY projects in the past. I love building my own gear because, first of all, you built it, and so you kind of have a new kind of ownership over it, plus you're learning more about audio engineering because you're learning about circuitry, you know, it's more about signal flow and just really seeing what goes behind the hood of all of this gear that we covet and is being marketed at us, especially in the plug-in format. It really helps to actually know what's going on behind the hood, like I said. And so some people might be thinking about jumping into the DIY route. Um, they might have known about Hairball Audio. They're a company out of Seattle and they uh, provide kits for preamps, for compressors. And so far I've had nothing but a good experience through them. Um, their support's really great. Mike will definitely work with you if when you're going along your project and you run into roadblocks because when you first start, you probably will run into roadblocks. And there's a support for him, and he's definitely very active on it, and he'll help you out and get you through the build. So if you're really thinking about jumping into doing a DIY project and you want to build your own compressor, I would say definitely go for it. Um, absolutely know that it's not going to be easy but it's not as hard as you would think. It really is kind of like playing with Legos, so to speak. You just have to learn some basic soldering, get some basic equipment, like a digital multimeter, um, like a soldering iron and some good solder, and you can just really go at it. And there's other companies out there that do really good um, builds as well, like uh, Cappy Audio, which does a lot of API style preamps and equalizers, some compressors. There's Seven Circle, which I know does def different kind of 500 series modules. And I mean, the, you can go to Drip if you want to do some more um, advanced builds. I mean, you can do like a Fairchild 670 on there. It might cost like $5,000 in parts, but you can build yourself a Fairchild. And, you know, I mean, you can do so much when you learn how to do DIY style, you know, building. And especially with the Haribo Audio, I feel like it's a really good route to go because it not only sounds awesome, like the Revision A sounds really great. It gets you that, you know, nice kind of, you know, gritty kind of 1176 style compression it works really nice on vocals really nice on drums and you can really push it and it really still sounds musical rather than just kind of your plug-in sometimes with the plugins i mean they all sound really good and they are modeling those you know that circuitry from start to finish on some of the more premium models like the universal audio you know slate digital and you can really you know push it but when you're going through actual circuitry it just adds something to it. And I know some of you out there might be thinking, you know, you don't have no idea about, you know, circuitry. You don't know anything about what a resistor is, what a diode is, what a capacitor is. And you might not even know what those terms mean right now. And you've been thinking about getting into DIY and don't worry so much about it. I would say that you do a little bit of research, learn what they are, but just jump in and then just start kind of placing parts because it really is kind of like a puzzle or Legos where you have your PCB board, which is your printed circuit board, and it has little spots in it, and you put the pieces in and make sure that some of them might have to be the right polarity, so they do have to go in a certain way, but like with resistors, they don't, and you just go for it and then see if it works at the end. I've had builds, you know, more simple builds like microphones and obviously cables and stuff that you'd go through it and there's no problems. Right out the gate, you plug it in and it works and it's awesome. Um, I've had other builds, especially with the compressors, where you get to the end and it's not working and you don't know what it is and you have to troubleshoot and it can be really frustrating, but you can make it through it. And then you learn something. When you have to troubleshoot, you actually learn more about the electronics. Then you really start to learn about what all those components are doing and that's definitely a really good knowledge building exercise. And, you know, when you get to the end and it finally works, there's a sense of pride. Like, you know, I built this thing. It works. It's awesome. And you can get really great gear for a fraction of the price as well. I mean, uh, brand new Universal Audio 1176 goes for $2,000. You can go and buy a kit off of Haribo Audio for $595. I mean, the the gap is huge. And you can get two of those for you know, still a f almost half the price of one Universal Audio 1176 compressor. And so I would highly recommend, you know, jumping in, you know, getting your hands dirty and just going for it. I'm still learning through this all. I can't wait to do more complicated builds. My goal is one day to build that Fairchild. That would be awesome to have a Fairchild sitting in your studio. Even though it wouldn't be a vintage unit, it still says Fairchild 670 on it. It still has all the tubes. And 
you know, you, you people walk in and they'd be like, oh my gosh, what, you know, that, look at that thing. And you could, I mean, the pride of having a 70 pound compressor, I don't know. It's, for me, I get excited about it. And so I would just highly recommend you to jump in. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I will try to guide you as best as I can. Again, I'm still learning and I'm still pretty new at all of this, but I've had some success now and I would love to just encourage you along this journey. I will leave some resources in the description to where you can find some, you know, good soldering techniques and all that kind of stuff. And I just, you know, really encourage you to go down this road. If you're thinking about pulling the trigger, pull the trigger. It's definitely worth it. You can get through it. You can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. You will learn. And it's not as hard as you would think. All right. I hope you got something out of this. I hope this inspired you. Give me a thumbs up if it did. If for some reason you didn't like it, you're watching this and thinking, you know, ah, no, I'm not going to do this. It's too hard or whatever. Give me a thumbs down then. I can handle it. Again, leave me a comment and I will respond. To all my other subscribers, I appreciate your continued support. If you haven't subscribed already, please hit the subscribe button. Hit that bell button so you get notifications on all of my posts. And I will just see you on the next video. I'm excited to share this journey of music with you. See you next time. Bye.